address the uh, the elephant in the room. Number one, the biggest one. Um, are we fearful that we're gonna make our son gay? No. Exactly. That's a hard no. Nassim's gonna be whoever God wants him to be. It's in his great uh, plan, and I I'm not worried about it at all. Number two. Are we worried about bullies when he gets to school? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Because bullies are a problem in America, people. And him coming from two gay dads is so little in the great scheme of things. I mean, really. But we're going to teach the scene to be loving, kind, and gentle. Because we're, because we're the gentle family. That's right. We put normalcy in the fact that two men are raising a family. We show that we're just like anyone else. I love him beyond words. He is my everything. He is the first thing I think of when I wake up. He is the last thing I think of when I go to bed. He gives me and my husband purpose. Are we going to hell? Psh, no, no way. Because we love God and God loves us. At first that we got some hate, it was really the same people over and over again. And I was ignoring it at first. Then I decided, you know what? I don't think I should ignore this because that's just allowing these haters to spew their hate. And they're not being held accountable or being challenged to their viewpoints. So I wanted to make sure I handled it appropriately, not out of anger or defense, but as more like an education thing. What are the misconceptions people have about the LGBTQ community? That uh, we're living in sin, that we're all perverts, that we cannot raise a child, that you know we're going to make our son or daughters gay. A child is going to thrive if he has parents that love him. Two men, two women, a man and a woman. Like, it, it doesn't matter. It's all about just love and support. That's it. That's all you need. It doesn't matter what gender it comes from. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come inside. It's fun inside. This is more than just fun now. Now it's education through humor. And I want to show the younger community of the LGBTQ community that you can have everything. Everything that the straight couple next door have. There's nothing wrong with you. You shouldn't feel like you can't have it because you're living in sin. That you're not in God's plan. Because I'm now a 42 year old man and I have been through the trials and tribulations of what mainstream society puts on us. And they're wrong. And I know that in my heart and soul. You can have everything. It's just, it's harder for us to have. But with me and other people out there fighting for us to move forward, hopefully it won't always be that way.